But where there's a will, there's a way. We're at Tekapo. Got the boss with me. And my wife. Oh, Bruce just made a beeline for the water. Come here, Bruce. Come on. Come on. Let's go. So this is Lake Tekapo. In the background, Mount Cook just over the hill there. Stunning spot. The first day of our fan camp. Sounds Dutch, doesn't it? I'm here. Oh, Bruce got in the water. Oh no. <laughs> Not meant to be going in the water. I got the boss with me and my wife. Come on, Bruce. It's cold. It is cold, but it's nice in the sun. Bruce, you're a nightmare. Come on. It's in charge as usual. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Hey, Brucey. There we are, parked. Just there. No one else around. There's actually up the top there, I'll show you in another clip. There's actually a damn power high power center up here and there's a big canal running all the way along there. This is our home for the night. As you can see. Beautiful river. Snow capped mountains. And the wife. The wife from Bruce. Hey! You having fun? Oh, you jumped. You didn't run through it this time. You having fun? Oh, it's nice because he's got his mum here with him. She's off for a wonder. It's a beautiful spot. It's an interesting story. So cross the stream here and don't fall in. So our van that we've got that's parked over there behind me has got a fault on it. Faulty rental van. First day and it's got a fault. And <laughs> so tomorrow morning, the company are gonna bring us another van on the back of a flat, flatbed truck to replace this one. Uh, Cause it's got some sort of throttle fault. And before we get into the high country and out of mobile range, they wanna get it sorted. So they're just gonna give us a new one instead. It's good service, but so they should. Um, so we've got to pack up everything again tonight and then get it swapped over tomorrow morning. But that's not gonna stop me from having a barbecue tonight. Oh yes. Right, we've parked up at our spot that we're uh, gonna camp up for the night. I showed you the river earlier. It's the boss. She doesn't really wanna be on camera. So this is as much as you're gonna see of a, a side profile. Isn't that right, darling? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. that's it. They probably can't hear you because I'm on the microphone. Here's Brucey. Now Brucey is staying with our friend in another van because he's not allowed in our one. Are you Bruce? Where is he? Where's Brucey? Come here. Bruce. <laughs> See, he knows the camera's on now. He's got to run off. It's a stunning spot. And I think we're going to do one night, maybe two nights here. We've got to take the van back tomorrow because it's broken. And they're going to give us a brand new van. So then we might come back to this spot again. We'll see. Just chilling, having a coffee. It's colder than it looks. Anne is wrapped up for full winter, but it is hot in the sun. Anyway, we'll come back to you when something interesting might be happening. It's a lot more civilized when you've got to take the boss. I know this is a first. You probably didn't think I could play Scrabble. And poor Brucey, he's like, what the hell's going on? Where's the beers and the cigars? What's all this scrabble and coffee nonsense? And the barbecue table. It's camping with Tony, Bruce, and Anne. This is slow going. So slow. It's time for a refreshing beverage. Cheers everybody from us. Anne says it's too early for a drink. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Cheers. 
Mmm. Cheers, darling. Mmm. Oh, you know what else? It's time for a cigar. You can see what move Anne's making. It's riveting stuff, I tell you. Sorry, you're in my smoke path. What amazing word did you put down? Fun. Fun? <laughs> Just what we're having. I'd like to point out to everybody watching this that every single word that we have on here is single syllable. <laughs> right, now the fun of Scrabble is over and done with. It's time to uh, get dinner on. Uh, so our rental, our rental van comes, and it's cold by the way, really flipping cold out here. I think it's gonna be minus four tonight. But our rental camper van comes with a barbecue. Here's this bad boy. Now, we won't have time to clean this before handing the camper van back tomorrow to get it changed. So I guess I can make as much mess as I want. It's a shame though. I'd rather have not had the interruption. Right, so. Nice clean barbecue. Are there any tools or things? Okay, gas and fat collector. Fat collector goes on the back. Gas screws into the side. The regulator. Mm. That is gonna be finicky. Okay, got it. And then I've got a big gas bottle here. Big beast. These are what? I don't know how much these weigh. 18 kilos? 18 kilos. Whack that bad boy on. Okay. And then I guess I start this thing up. Push to turn on and off. It's pretty simple. Open the gas up. Oh, that's lit. We have flame and heat. All right. So while I'm doing this, happy wife, happy life. Let's crack this. New Zealand, the Ned. Sauvignon Blanc open. Nicely chilled. Let's surprise her with a glass. I come bearing gifts. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Just some meat for me to cook up. Yes. What meat shall we have? I think I'll have lamb. Oh no, I've had lamb last few trips. Steak, please. Thank you, ribeyes. And salmon. I think Anne's having salmon tonight. And I need some cooking tools and stuff. She's great on camera, isn't she? I don't know if she's actually going to appear on camera in this entire trip in the front. It's cold. It's pretty cold. 
this is as cold as being in my tent. Now, we're in a zone where you're not allowed to have any fires at all. Total fire ban. Which is such a shame because it's such an idyllic spot. It'd be nice to sit and eat outside. But this spot in particular, not allowed to. Thank you. All right, tools up. Need my spray oil. Can I have the canola oil, please? Uh, yeah, so I've actually got a little, little electric chainsaw, but as you've seen around us, there are no trees anyway, so that won't work. And even if it were, you're not allowed to have a fire here, which is a real shame. Thank you. Right, let me get cracking with this. Okay, in typical Camping with Tony fashion, I've forgotten the seasoning. And we were in the supermarket, so we've both forgotten the seasoning. Oh, look at this. Let me just pan around a second. I don't get this on my camping trips. Look. Do you want me to pour you Yes, please. Wine? I'm being poured a glass of wine because I poured her a glass of wine. <laughs> she heard that and she wasn't going to hear it. Yeah, so we've forgotten the seasoning. This time I can say we instead of me. Damn it. But I've got an idea. Thank you for my Syrah. <laughs> got to bring it camping more often. Okay, like I was saying, cheers everybody. Like I was saying, forgotten the seasoning, but I have salted crisps. Loads of salt on these, loads, sea salt. So I'm gonna use the sea salt crisps and crunch them up and put them on. Okay. Pan's nice and hot. Bit of spray, let's get it all sprayed. Be careful when you do this, by the way, because it can, it does tend to catch fire when you do that. I'll put my steak on first. Okay, and what I'll do is crunch up some crisps. This is going to be a crispy steak. Pat them in. <laughs> and then Anne said she wants the same thing on hers. So, crunch up some crisps and put it on Anne's salmon. But where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. And I think to have with this, Anne is rustling up a salad. I like salad, it's fine. As long as there's some meat to go with it, then I'm happy. All right, I'll leave that sizzling. Still a ways to go. I just looked at the temperature, it's just hovering above zero. So, yeah, life as usual for camping with Tony. <laughs> Except I've got a glass of red wine on the go. I've got a barbecue and I'm not choking on smoke. Oh, and of course I've got a lovely warm camper van to go back into and a lovely warm wife to go back to. It's a shame Bruce is in the other, other van, in our friend's van, which is now, they, they've parked a long way away. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just not allowed in this because it's a rental. Right. Come back to you when this is done. I don't know what she's doing in there. Can you see her zipping back and forth in front of the uh, window there? Look, there she is. Just bang, 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 bang.
not very relaxed. We need to get a few more wines down her, then she'll relax. See? <laughs> Moment of truth. Perfect. All right. Shut it off at the gas cylinder so there's no gas left in the pipe. Time to plate up. With my crisps. Lovely piece of salmon for the boss. Time to move inside. And here's dinner. It's toasty warm in here. It's now zero outside. And the salmon, darling, just for you and your wine. Cheers. Cheers. And salad. Cheers. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna tuck into this, we'll come back to you later. Oh, sport for choice, two salads. Brucey, Bruce has come to visit us from the other van. Come here, hey, what's this? Come here, Bruce, come here. You know what time it is, it's time for Bruce's light. So anyone who's seen my videos before knows. Oh, red, Bruce, come here. We don't want disco. Hey, come here. I've got to see you. <laughs> hey, come here. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Hang on. Hang on, Brucey. Oh my gosh, she's raring to go. So excited. Anne is inside cleaning up after dinner. All right, off you go. <laughs> you might see him pop by. Who knows? Okay, I need to finish my cigar. I didn't finish it earlier, right? The smoke was blowing on Anne, <laughs> so I stopped. Oh, it's very different camping with the boss. Ooh. There's quite a breeze. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce is... Oh man, I've got, to, I've got to turn the camera, you've got to see Brucey. Hang on, look at this. Ready? Oh, he's going nuts. Bruce, ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> he loves his light. Go on, off you go. Go and lie down. Where's he going to go? He just finds a little patch in the grass and then that's it. He's so entertaining, isn't he? Well, so he is entertaining. Uh, I can watch him. He might come around here. I don't know. So first day and night in the camper van. Well, it's been fun. It's nice to come out with Anne. She's warm. She's inside. She's got all the creature comforts. It's a shame we can't have Bruce in this van, but he's with our friends. I've got to walk him back all the way over to their van. They're way off down here. I'll walk him back over there. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying having Anne around. Yeah. I hope, uh, hope you guys are seeing a new side to me. Um, God, it's cold. It's zero out here. It's really cold. I should have my blanket on me. pitch black it's a lovely spot though it's a bit of a breeze and I think tomorrow is going to be either rain or snow one or the other I can hear her cleaning up inside excellent I told her I've got to come out here and do the video but half of that was to avoid helping clean up you know me and dishes I usually I let Bruce clean up if you know what I mean it's nice I'm enjoying this this is relaxing. This is easy. This is really easy. And it is camping. You are out in the elements. You can choose to do what you want. You come and sit outside. I'm looking up at the stars. I've got a crescent moon. It's nice. 
yeah, this is easy. It's freezing, but then I should be wearing more. But usually I would have all my proper camping gear on and be hunkered down like Steve. Cheers. You should see Bruce with his light sitting right in front of me. Bruce, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come and say hello to everybody. Come on. Come up here. Come and say hello. Up, up, up. Come here. Bruce. Up, up. Hello. Hello. You love your light, don't you? He is happy because he's got his mum here with him. Oh, Christ, that was close. Yeah, it's good all around. I'm enjoying it. So... Next time you catch me, I want to show you a feature of this camper van. Uh, and I'll show you at bedtime. You're not going to see too much. <laughs> Anne is very camera shy. She does not want to be on camera. But you know what? I don't blame her. Some of that is just because some people can't help themselves. And... Just leave nasty comments. I've got nothing better to do. I can take that. I don't care. I either just delete them or I answer back. But this is my wife and I'm not going to accept that. So if I see anything like that, I will be deleting it. Um, so hopefully there's no stupid comments on this video. But yeah, I don't blame her for wanting to just just stay in the background, not get a full front face. It's not her channel. She doesn't want to be part of it. Um, so you just got to leave her to it. Yeah, cut her some slack. All right, everybody, I'll see you at dinner time. At uh, dinner time. Oh my God, I've only had three glasses of wine. I haven't had any spirits. Maybe it's the altitude. <laughs> we are up high. I'll see you at bedtime. And I want to show you how we lower our bed. So you get the control here, hit the button, and down it comes. So our living room is converted into a queen size bed. Pretty cool, huh? And it's very comfy. And it just means you've got all this space that's usually here as a full living room. Awesome. All right, see you guys in the morning. Well, in true Camping with Tony style, it's chucking down with rain this morning. I was gonna go out and cook some breakfast, some pancakes and bacon, but I don't think so now. <laughs> it is absolutely pelting down. It's nicer being in here than in the tent. So plan this morning, is take the van back, we'll go back to town and swap everything over to get our new van because this one's buggered. Uh, in the rain, which might be snow higher up. Grim. All right, here we go in true style. It's miserable, howling. Beautiful. But here's our new van. Oh, right there. That is cold. Anne's inside staying warm. Uh, so, got to get the van off, get this one on. Right, everything's sorted. We've swapped over a new van. We've driven for about half an hour and parked up. All our stuff we, we packed, we've got to unpack. But look where we've parked. Just for the day. Well, not for the day, just to have a cup of coffee. And we're waiting for our friends to turn up in their van so that we can catch up with Brucey and then he, we can take him out for a little walk. Beautiful spot. And Mount Cook is in the background in the clouds. You can't see it. Our Rocky Mount Cook, where they train to do Everest. That's, that's all the way at the end of this lake. Lake Pukeki. Beautiful. Hopefully the sun will stay out. It's raining at the moment. Tip typical. But yeah. Lovely spot. And this is our living room. 
And there's the bed up there that you lower with the control here. And when Anne finally gets to putting everything away, I don't know what's taking her so long. Uh, then uh, we'll have our living area. Bruce, where are we? Hey, what's down there? Go and have a look. Go on. Go, 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 go. This is the lake now. It stops raining. The sun's come out. Beautiful. Bruce, what are you doing? Oh, that's the boss. Admire in the view. Oh no, she got caught on camera. She's gonna run off to the side now. The camera's following her. <laughs> oh dear. She does not want to be on camera. Like me, I don't mind being on camera. Right, so plan is intercept Bruce, who's gone bolting off. We're gonna, we're gonna do a bit of a walk around here, around the lake. There's the van. See the snow, snow-capped mountains. You can almost see Mount Cook now. So down at the end there. Yeah, still covered in clouds though. Right, we're gonna do a walk around this lake with Bruce, and then we're gonna head off to Mount Cook and uh, do some more walks around there. Look at this. This water is crystal clear. So this is Lake Pukaki. It gets fed from all the mountain ranges from up at Mount Cook. I've just come down the breakwater. Bruce! There's Anne standing up the top. Here's Brucey, who's desperate to go for a swim, but then he'll get their, their camper van soaking wet, so he's not allowed to. Our friends are parked just up the top there. I don't know if you can make them out. Right. What do you reckon, Bruce? Should we go back? Go to camp? Come on then, you go. God, he moves so fast. I wish I could get up there that fast. Right, catch you all when we get, in, get to uh, get to camp. Welcome back everyone, we've left Kakaki. We're on the way to Mount Cook. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Got Anne on the camera. Yes, sir. Uh, you can see the power plant. So this is all hydro. So the lake's quite low at the moment because there's been a lot of consumption, electricity. But all of this is, uh, all the lakes here are used for hydropower. So all the energy on the South Island of New Zealand is 100% renewable, mainly hydro. We don't burn any coal or anything like that. And the South Island of New Zealand exports power to the North Island of New Zealand. It comes from all these sorts of lakes uh, with the massive hydropower there. That fascinating mm. and you can just see the base area of Mount Cook, Araki, it's called Araki National Park and yeah Edmund Hillary came and trained here before doing Everest and a lot of people come here to train for Everest. Um, very similar sort of conditions, brutal glacier fields, you can't quite see it but Mount Cook is over there in those clouds in the background. Very dangerous, a lot of deaths, very cheery. Mm -hmm. Van life is nice when the sun is shining. All right, so here we go. We are about to walk the Hooker Valley track. It's an hour and 35 minutes to the lake. We're parked over there and we are at the base of Mount Cook, which is, where is it, up there. And Anne is already off, as you can see. So, let's get cranking. You have to excuse the wind noise. And it's cold. Oh. 
and is leading the way. <laughs> I think she's wearing absolutely everything that she bought on holiday with her as well. <laughs> she is very wrapped up. She's got ski gloves on and doesn't do cold. Avalanche danger. Considerable, considerable moderate. Hmm. Maybe why the campground is closed. Right, let's get there. We'll see you at the swing bridge. All right, we're at the first swing bridge. Ah, it's cold. Got people coming back looking very cold who probably left earlier when it was sunny. Didn't expect it to get so cold, but people do die up here from exposure. All right, let's get across this bridge. Check out the glacial lake. All right, I think there's three more of those to do. Did I mention it's cold? It's really cold. Oh, hands warming up, she said. Happy wife, happy life. Don't want a cold wife. You know what I mean. Right, second swing bridge. It's a big one. Check that out. Very bouncy. That's why there's a weight restriction. So all of this sort of gray green water is sediment and glacial water. So it's all coming off from a glacier from way up there up at Mount Cook, which is up there. See it coming along here. That was fun. See Anne behind me, bouncing up and down. <laughs> Nervously walking along. <laughs> She's still got all of her gear on. She must be boiling. Right, let's get there. Not far now to Hooker Lake, where the icebergs are, maybe. Not promising anything. It's a really big boardwalk here. Got all the marsh. And then up there. Oh, there's the peak. Just popping out the clouds now. Look at that, the peak of Mount Cook, Araki. Woohoo! You wouldn't want to be up there right now. That would be grim. Here comes the snow and sleet. All right, crack on. And here we are. Hooker Lake. Oh, and all of that down there is iceberg. Crushed glacier. It's a popular. 
the spot as you can tell. Right at the end, that's the glacier. What a spot. Yeah, Hooker Lake. Check it out. It's a massive glacier coming off Mount Cook. At the end of the lake. It's a gorgeous wife. Gosh, she's taking her gloves off. It's a miracle. It is cold though, I have to say. So yeah, in the distance there, let me zoom in for you. That is the end of the glacier. So chunks of that break off and then end up here, sort of blocking the end of the lake here, and that all shoots off down to make that massive Lake Pukaki. And look at Mount Cook. To excuse the wind, let's zoom in on Mount Cook. Epic. New Zealand's biggest peak. Enough of this, it's freezing. Let's get back to the boss. We're on the bouncy bridge again, got on our way back. See her bouncing? <laughs> when I say see her bouncing, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Good walk, three hours round trip. Van is somewhere over there, the car park. I think we've earned slap up meal and several beers and wines when we get to camp. Woo! Welcome back, everybody. It's Bruce's dinner time. That's it, Bruce. Good boy. Go on then. And for me, it's time for a brew and a cigar. Man, it's cold. So we are, well, <laughs> Anne's not stupid, Anne's in the van. We are at the edge of Lake Hawea in the South Island of New Zealand. And it's a lovely spot, but it is really, really windy. And it's cold, but I've got a little pocket here in this Manuka. If you've ever heard of Manuka honey, Manuka honey comes from bees that have fed on the nectar of manuka trees behind me. So I'm having a behemoth something hazy, hazy IPA. Cheers everyone. Hey, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Enjoying your dinner, Brucey. So Anne's in the camper van making chocolate strawberries. Because it's her birthday tomorrow. So we've got a bottle of champagne, haven't we, Bruce? Got a bottle of champagne for mummy. She's gonna have chocolate strawberries. You might see her walking around in the van, actually. And Bruce can't have any because there's chocolate on there. And also he's staying in our friend's camper van. This is our van. Our friend's just parked up behind this manuka bush here. So, so far, 
only one night they haven't come to the same place we have, so we didn't see Bruce uh, the night before last. But he's hanging around with us now. He's just not allowed in this van because this is a rental. And this is the replacement van because our one broke down. Bruce. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with this one. This one works much better. So what is the plan? The plan. There is some major weather coming tomorrow. Typical. On Anne's birthday. We're talking potentially rain and snow. And maybe a lot of snow. And tomorrow we're off to a place called Queenstown. A lot of you will have heard of Queenstown. Bruce Snow. Come on. Sorry if you can hear the wind. Yeah, so we'll be in Queenstown. It's the sort of the ski area, whatever. It's really pretty, very beautiful. There's wind, Bruce. It's going right through your fur. Yeah, can't wait. And the next regular camping <laughs> will be in a couple of weeks time. Uh, but for now, you're just having this little holiday break that I'm having with Anne in the camper van. But I wanted to bring you more of the rough weather camping. Genuine camping with the tent. Mm -mm. Bruce, no, it's a big tree. Don't bring that over here. He's trying to grab a massive tree and bring it over. All right, everyone. So I'm not going to barbecue tonight because it's too windy out here. Even if I put a windbreak up, it is howling and it is frigid. Bruce, what are you doing? And uh, it just blows the barbecue out. So I'm gonna have to cook in the, uh, in the camper van tonight. Um, and so you're not really missing anything. But hopefully you'll catch me cooking uh, in the next couple of nights. We're out for uh, dinner tomorrow night for Anne's birthday. Um, but tonight I think we're gonna just hunker down like Steve. Bruce, have some champagne, chill out. Look at this view of the lake. Hope you enjoyed that footage of uh, Mount Cook, our Raki, and the walk we did there. That was stunning, it really was. Um, yeah, so we'll be back soon. Maybe tomorrow from Queenstown. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my cigar, have my beer, and just chill out. Bruce, he keeps running off. Come on. Come and say goodbye to everyone. We'll see them tomorrow because you're going to have to go back. Hey, Bruce, come here. You're going to have to go back in the camper van. Come here. Come here. No, no, don't bring the stick. Don't bring the stick. Please don't bring that. It's massive. Bruce, no, 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 no. It's too, too big. Come here. Come here. <laughs> He's going nuts. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. All right, everybody. We will catch you tomorrow from Queenstown. Won't we, Bruce? Yes, we will.